Michael Tender, and I'm author of the book, The Deadly Dog Training Myth. You can get the first three chapters at DeadlyDogTrainingMyth.com. And what I want to talk to you about in this video is reactive dogs, dogs that go out of their mind when they see another dog or a person. You can't even walk them down the street. And this is a very common problem for a lot of people. They have a dog, and they either have to walk it at 6 o'clock in the morning or 11.30 at night because they have to avoid anybody or any dog and so this is a very frustrating behavior problem to have to deal with if it's your dog and unfortunately if you go online or if you contact dog trainers they're gonna tell you that you can never ever say no to your dog you can never use a negative consequence and if you have a dog that's reactive if you want to bring that dog's behavior under control you're probably gonna to have to apply some type of unpleasant negative consequence to bring the behavior under control. It'll be a split second, it's not painful, and you'll see the results in just a second with the dog I worked with. But I titled this book The Deadly Dog Training Myth because there's thousands and thousands of dog trainers out there promoting an all positive, only positive dog training philosophy. And that's deadly for the dogs because Think about the dog. If you have a dog that you can't walk on leash because he's going to go bananas every time you see somebody, sometimes that dog will be brought to a shelter. And if he doesn't get rehomed, you know what happens. And if he doesn't get brought to the shelter and the owner keeps him, chances are this dog is not going to have a very good life. The dog is going to spend most of his time inside the house because who wants to walk a dog that goes crazy? Right? It's embarrassing for the owner. The other person gets nervous. The dog gets a reputation in the neighborhood. So... Dogs have become reactive has become a huge problem in this country, and it's a lot of it goes back to throwing treats at the dog. The dog barks at somebody, throw treats, keep them under threshold, have a fake dog 100 yards away and approach that fake dog. This stuff really doesn't work that well. It doesn't work at all. <laughs> but that's, that's what uh, dog owners are constantly told. Use only positive reinforcement. Don't do anything negative to the dog. Don't put the dog under any kind of stress. And it's not really fair to the dog because if you want to train a dog, you have to use a combination of positive and negative consequences. Okay, but that, I mean, do these dog trainers lose their minds when you start talking about negative consequences. So let me show you this dog, Cosmo, that I worked with. Same thing. This owner couldn't walk the dog until early in the morning, late at night, see another dog, grab the leash, and go bananas. And so I'm going to show you what his behavior was like before we started working with him. So it's right here. You can stand right there. Yep. Walk over here, H. Wow. If you're good, maybe we can see if you're with us for the games. <laughs> Come back this way, Rich. Good, you can go back, Rich. So you can see Cosmo gets pretty upset when he sees uh, Charlie, the other dog. But now I want to show you the results after two sessions with this dog. I did some foundational stuff with him. And then this is what happened after we taught this little guy the word no. We want you to stop doing that behavior when you see another dog. And now look at the results of this dog after two sessions. Good. Call Cosmo to you. Cosmo, come. That's yes. it. Lots of praise. Good, Good boy. boy. Come back by, Rach. Good boy. What a nice dog. That's it. Go ahead and call him to you. Cosmo, come. Nice. Yes. Nice. Come nice and close, Rach. Nice and close. Let's see how he does. Oh. Whoops, Charlie. <laughs> Good, Cosmo. Look, see, he's checking in with you. Good. Yes. Nice. Lots of praise right there. Very good. Call him to you. Cosmo, come. Lots of praise. Good. Come back by, Rich. Yes. I'm out of speed. Okay, you just use praise for right now. 
Colin Tui. Yes, good yes. boy. So, who wouldn't want that in their dog, right? Dog goes bananas when he sees a dog. Very short period of time later, dog is very controlled around another dog. And I just saw Cosmo about a, a couple of weeks ago, and he was around two other dogs. He was in with a group of people. He's a great little dog. And I did this months ago with Cosmo. Because, again, the, the uh, positive-only crowd will tell you that there's all these side effects if you use anything negative on the dog. That the dog is going to become a vicious beast, or he's going to suppress all that aggression, and it's going to burst out somewhere, and he's going to attack some, somebody as they walk down the street. And the thing is, is that really, again, what I want you to understand is that it's a combination of positive and negative consequences. And I wrote this book, The Deadly Dog Training Myth, because I want you to understand it's okay to tell your dog no when he does a behavior that's unacceptable, okay? And if you don't say no and you don't use negative consequences, you're setting the dog up for failure. And that's why we have so many dog problems today. So again, you can get the first three chapters at deadlydogtrainingmyth.com. Check it out. If you like it, you can buy it. If not, no obligation. Thanks for watching this video and have fun training your dog.